So what's going on today, Maureen? A tour of the Garden of Epic Proportions! Okay, truth be told, it's just about maintaining and trying to keep things alive. So let's go on a tour. Starting with the tomatoes. Things are fruiting and looking great. I do have a lot here that have the blossom end rot. Uh, I forget why. I think it's watering, not watering, something like that. I'll have to look it up. But lots of romas are growing there. The San Marzanos, they're looking great. And the Nona tomatoes, which are Italian pear style tomato, they're looking beautiful as well. Nice and big. Should start ripening soon. But these would be wonderful for our fried green tomatoes. Yum! Again, here are my welded wire trellises with lots of cucumbers growing on it. And see, the great thing is, is that, you know, that is quite tall and you can see it's all just winding itself in there and then they just spit out the cucumbers for me. Love it. I do have to show you these. These are so cute. These are called cucumelons. I tried to grow them before and I only got a couple this year. They did very well. So let's pick one and eat one. So they do look like little watermelons, but inside it's just like a cucumber. Yum. Broccoli is looking good. We've already picked all the main heads. And so now we will just get these kind of broccoli shoots all summer long from them. So we've already done a picking. Up here are my red runner beans. They're doing well. The orchard is looking great. So those are my Meyer lemons. They're still doing well. Uh, I think a squash ended up in my apple tree, so uh, I just let it be. And the apples are starting to ripen and they still are protected. Nobody's tried to eat them. Uh, even though it's outside of my little orchard patch, uh, I've added in a two different types of thornless blackberries, another fig, which already started fruiting, and another grape. These things were on sale. I just had to buy them and add them because they will go for my future farm. Mm -hmm. Garden bed number two. The corn is looking great. It was flopped over, so this morning we did uh, stock it up. A couple of days ago, we had some crazy, crazy winds, and so a, one of the corn stalks was actually tipped over and the other ones they were just leaning so I did look it up and it said that if it hasn't tasseled there is a good chance that it will survive tying it up and then mounding that should actually help it and mostly it will bring itself back up to upright and I was seeing that but I thought let's just give it a little hand <laughs> are you growing turnips Maureen yes I am look at that beauty we have picked some of our turnips. They are absolutely delicious when you just saute them. They're just almost like a potato. So good. Mm -hmm. As we approach the far side of garden bed number three, I have a zucchini here and a zucchini here. And this one, I'm actually going to try to trellis it up because it's taking up so much space. But you know, again, I'm trying to pick the zucchinis. I'll let that one go maybe a day and then pick it. Because zucchinis just keep growing and after a period of time you say, I don't want to eat any more zucchinis. So then you go and you put them on your, your neighbor's doorsteps. Mm -hmm. We did just pick a few of the carrots and of course a turnip and we're going to have turnips and carrots. These uh, cabbages, they're looking good. The ones I've grown from seed, they're not as nice. These ones uh, came from a nursery. Uh, mind you, they were pretty beat up when I first planted them, but you know, they've uh, taken shape, so they're looking good. And then over here, again, this is the zucchini that I'm trellising up. More about the zucchini. You know, uh, I'm hoping I can show this. So the root, the root of it is around in here. And so we have it coming up trellising this way, but it also, I've never seen it where it does kind of a second piece coming from there. So it's like I have two legs growing out of this one zucchini plant. Weird. The peppers in the pots, these ones are doing much, much better than the ones that I have in ground. 
and I am starting to see some fruit. So these are jalapenos in here. So we are seeing some fruit, so I'm happy about that. But let's go look at those other peppers. Well, this is a chicken's fault, but... Um, so we are seeing some flowers on them finally, but, but you can see like this is as big as they're getting over in this area here. So this one is a little bit bigger and I'm seeing some flowers. Oh, look at volunteer tomatillo. I decided to let it stay. Someone needs to come and do a big bean picking here. Um, there is lots of beans all in here ready to go. These... When I, when I planted these ones, I thought that they were pole and they are not pole. The heck is that? I don't know what that is. Weird. Those are aphids all around, all around it. The original pepper bed that uh, I pulled everything out and put into that other bed. And then this is just some sort of volunteer squash. I let it live. I don't know what it is, but the fruit, the fruit on it looks like that. I am not sure what it's gonna be. That's exciting. So it could be a cross-pollinated seed. In the former pepper bed, we do have the onions. And I think this year I might actually get them to work. I was watching my, my good friend Remy from Rem's Family Farm and he was planting his onions. And the cool thing was is that he just put the rooted end in and and so I did that and it, this is the thing that seems to work where normally I bury them under the ground where this way leaving them up, they seem to be working. So mum might get some onions this year. Thanks Remy. Here is my loofah on the trellis. It's doing really, really well for growth. I didn't show you the ones in the back. They are not this great looking. I think this one is, didn't quite make it. Doesn't look like it's been pollinated. I don't know. I don't know if this is meaning it's trying to go to seed, I don't know. But we do have some flowers on it. Oh, there's little bugs in them. Hello, little bugs. Hmm. So I hope you got to watch my video where I pulled all the store-bought garlic out. And now we have potatoes all planted in. These potatoes were planted mid-season, so um, they still have a bit more time. But wow! my food forest is looking fantastic. So we will go into a little bit of detail of what's just growing. So we've got some spaghetti squashes, as you can plainly see. And then up here are the pumpkins and watermelons. I did out of the potato patch. I pulled about 40 pounds of potatoes out of that little patch, so, which is great. Second, second planting is in. I did pick my first doll baby watermelon. Um, and there is another one fruiting there. This one here. That one, he's a little, he's a little wonky. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen with it. But we do have, this is one of the Big Macs pumpkins. So it looks like I've got one there and one down here. And last year, my biggest pumpkin was 63 pounds. The flavor wise was good, but not so great for pies. So then it was recommended to me to plant sugar pumpkins. And so I've got <laughs> three sugar pumpkin plants in here. Well, I, of course it's too many pumpkin plants for this patch, of course. But they are looking lovely in here. You can see them, there's lots. And these don't get super big, I don't think, so. There's lots in here. There's a big one up there. Another one. They're looking great. So it's, I got a giant watermelon here, the three sugar pumpkins, and then just one Big Max pumpkin. And then with the new trellis over here, we've got a honeydew growing here. Hello, honeydew. And then up on the trellis, we've got a cantaloupe. And another one coming. Uh, there is a third plant. I don't know what it is because I didn't mark it down. Or no, maybe its cup is there. Let's go see. Maybe I did. Oh, so this is another honeydew. So it was a honeydew 
You need to climb up over here, honeydew. So, honeydew, cantaloupe, honeydew. <laughs> In here, the grapes are looking gorgeous. These are gonna be the red ones. Hopefully you did get to see some. But nice little clusters. Good. And then this is the white table grape. It's a little, little bit more behind. But in very exciting news, I didn't think the Gewurztraminer was going to fruit. But yes, we have fruit on the Gewurztraminer. Well done. So in this first grow bag, this is where I have four spaghetti squash plants growing and you already saw some in, the, some in the front and then I've got them trellising up and over. This is our ginger and I did plant a few onions in here. This marigold is just absolutely stunning. This one came in in the orange and they just get absolutely huge. And then this grow bag, zucchinis, you should be picked. You should be picked, you're getting too big. And spaghetti squash, which I've already harvested three spaghetti squashes. So this one here, this is a kabucha squash and it has orange flesh inside of it, used in Japanese cuisine. They are absolutely delish. So we've got a couple there. This also was supposed to be a a kabucha squash. I think it was in the same tray, but it's looking more like an acorn. Hi there. This one, um, again, was supposed to be kabucha, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what that is. So I'm trellising this acorn squash here. It's got some fruit on it. And then another one that I'm trellising is this one, and this is called a carnival squash. I've never grown this one before, so I'm looking forward to growing it. And then right beside it is another acorn, and this one I'm letting come out onto the land. And this one, we've got a really great size acorn squash here growing. It looks beautiful. And then uh, patty pans here. And then on the other side, is a crook neck squash. So this plant is here. And then right next door is another kabucha squash, which is vining out. The acorn and the carnival squash, I didn't know that they were a vining squash. So I am trying to do what I can by trellising them up. One issue I had was fruit not being pollinated. I basically have probably chopped off at least 20 zucchini fruits that didn't get pollinated. I did do some hand pollinating with some of them, but uh, they just weren't taking and I wasn't seeing a lot of bees. I'm really grateful now that the marigolds are up and flowering. That's gonna draw more of the bees over here, so exciting. Not that I planted it, but this magnolia is in full bloom and the fragrance is absolutely amazing. The flowers are stunning and beautiful, and it's just a great way to end this video. A magnolia has a bit of a spicy smell and a lemon smell, and it's just absolutely fresh. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care. God bless.